We just had a video contest. It was the third annual Raise Odd Couple video contest. So it started three years ago. Um, and it actually, it was my idea, the whole video contest. Um, Ray approached me with wanting to do a BMX mountain bike hybrid event. And I figured, you know, a lot of the events nowadays, people want to go to raise and ride. They don't want to stand around and watch pro riders. No matter how good we are, there's just too much stuff to ride. By making it a video contest, the pro riders could film when the park was closed. Um, and then we could put together these videos and wham, bam, show them to people Saturday night. So we could ride with people all day and then Saturday night they could check out the video. And then the other cool thing was it allows BMX guys that have certain skills compete with mountain bikers and whatever, and everybody could kind of play to their strengths. So that's how the whole event came about. All right, you guys, we got the top riders coming in this year for the Odd Couple Contest. And I want you on your game. I want this place cleaned up, spotless, because Aaron Chase is coming and he doesn't like dirty toilets. Our whole skit was um, basically that we were employees of Ray's Mountain Bike Park and and that we would have this daydream about all these, you know, hotshot pros coming in that, you know, we'd, we'd go someday, you know, that'll be us. But in the meantime, we we're just stuck there as working stiff. So figured, you know, make it authentic. We would clean some toilets, sweep some floors. We were going to do the, the toilet cleaning section all along and then when I was in there I said, you know, it would be really funny if I finish one and then somebody comes out and they're like, toilet's clogged, you got to do another. Um, that's actually Joe Preisel, so all the locals around there know he's the guy who pretty much built the place from the ground up. He, he's the guy pounding nails, designing the skate parks in there, so we wanted to bring in like familiar faces. That's why we had Ray and Joe and those other guys. Aaron Chase is one of my good friends. We asked him if he wanted to like throw us car keys and, and ask us to park the car. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, can you park my car for me please? All right, thanks a lot. Okay. Oh. Oh, losers. And the other rider was uh, Rocco Quintanelli. He won the event last year and he kind of blows off Ray in the video and says, sorry dude, I only signed checks, not autographs. Well, he thought he was saying that to me. So we filmed it with Rocco, with me saying, hey Rocco, can I get your autograph? And he's supposed to be blowing me off, so that's why he was so rude. But then we, we had Ray film a section going, hey Ray, Rocco, can you sign an autograph? And we put the two together, and it looks like Rocco's blowing Ray, the owner of Ray's, off. Hey Rocco, would you sign this poster for me? No, bro, I'll sign checks, not autographs. But I'll take a walk. Man, look at these guys, a bunch of hot shots. I wish we could enter this thing. Someday. My teammate was this guy, Clint McMahon. He lives in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. He's pretty much the complete opposite of me. I'm a really technical, controlled rider, and he'll usually just flip anything or three anything. Just he'll he'll just try the craziest stuff. So I figured, you know, we'd really balance balance one another out. Um, but the flipping and the spinning and whatever caught up to him because the first day he he got injured, so we only got like two or three clips. The format actually worked good because it was always our plan to end the section with Ray going, hey guys, get back to work. Guys, get back to work. Which kind of gave us a, you know, the ability to cut the video wherever we wanted to versus trying to like fit a timeline. We, we only had three days to put that, put that together, so we actually did storyboard the whole thing because we figured three days sounds like a lot of time, but anybody who's ever edited video. To film all that riding and, and the acting and everything, it's, it's pretty quick. So we storyboarded out the whole thing so we could just like bang out the shots and make sure we had everything done. But uh, it came together pretty well and we were definitely happy with the fun video. The crowd liked it, so it's pretty neat. Even just, the, it was like the smallest of, amount of acting, but it definitely puts it in a whole new perspective. You realize it's not as easy as it looks. So definitely won't be sitting on the couch watching like Johnny Depp anymore going, man, I could do that for $20 million. <laughs>